list. If you like game shows with celebrities and exciting prizes, you're in luck. If you like ballroom <laughs> dancing, I'm sorry, come back in the autumn. <laughs> Let's meet the guests! Say this, she's absolutely fabulous. Jennifer Saunders! Wow, look at that. Look at that. Hey, where else are you gonna see a lineup like that? <laughs> Who said UK gold? <laughs> Lewis Smith. Welcome, Lewis. Good to see you. Well, Thank you. I'm going to come out and say it. You did us proud in the Olympics, didn't he? <laughs> you did. Two medals, which is a remarkable achievement. More remarkable, winning them in East London and getting home still with them. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. And you know what? It's lovely. Lovely to see you in your clothes. <laughs> Take a look at this. Now, that was for... Strictly. Strictly Come Dancing. OK, well, mm. better you than Len Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Fox, how lovely. <laughs> how lovely to be this close to a fox and not worry it's going to sniff round your bins. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever... Have you ever done a real autopsy? Cos, obviously, on Silent Witness, that's not real, is it? Please tell me it's not real. Well, come and find out. No, there's no way. <laughs> I only say it because, and this will sound odd to you, I'd love you to do mine. <laughs> 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 I, I would, no, I said, isn't it a strange thing <laughs> to know who you'd like to do your auto? I would love Amelia Fox. Yeah. I would have a little rummage in Rob. <laughs> Rummage on Rob first before I went into Rob. If you've been affected by any of the issues raised, <laughs> what does that mean? Well, you have a bit of a fondle first before no, you, you don't. go. <laughs> do you know what? I take back what I said. When I die, do not go near me. <laughs> My dear, dear, dear friend, how lovely to see you. <laughs> We go back, so far back, I gave birth to James. When was it? <laughs> How long ago was it? Uh, it was uh, 35 years ago now. Right? Wasn't an easy birth, was it? <laughs> With hindsight, I should have gone for a caesarean, but there we are. <laughs> now, we're talking about sport with Lewis. Yes. You've been involved with sport relief. Yeah, I've done some things. A lot for of it, things yes. for sport relief. And mm. we think about some of the wonderful, memorable fundraisers, them, the, the water based. Fundraisers. John Bishop yep. rode across the channel. Mm -hmm. Walliams swam up the Thames. Yeah. You did something, a very special water based challenge. Let's have a look. <laughs> we often bathe together. Yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was inches from golden balls. <laughs> Simon Callow. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, sir. Welcome. How about this? Uh, I get, I'm going to come out and say it. Right. I loved you in four weddings. Thank there you. we are. I did. I <laughs> laughed all the way through. <laughs> I mean, not the bit where you had the heart attack and you died. <laughs> not, not, not that moment. <laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> this does give me a lovely opportunity to do this. Uh, gosh, crikey, crikey, crikey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Hugh Grant. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How excited am I? Dawn French is with us. Oh, yes. I speak for everyone when I say I love the Vicar of Dibley. <laughs> Are you going to do more? No. You're not? <laughs> it's just been cancelled. Oh, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Saunders. <laughs> right, those are the guests. Let's go and meet the victims, uh, the contestants. 
Please say hello to Ben and Shirley. <laughs> now then. I'm going to start with you, Ben. It's lovely to meet you, lovely to see you. I'm, I, I, I've got... I'm loving the hair. Thank you. I'm <laughs> loving it. I mean, if I did that, that would take me up to, what, five foot four? <laughs> <laughs> it's Ben. Where are you from? I'm from Woking, in Surrey. And you have a very interesting work setup, don't you? Yeah, I've got two jobs. Mm. Um, my main job is a prison officer, and I also work part time as a theatre usher. <laughs> <laughs> They're two jobs you don't want to get confused, do you? <laughs> you don't want to be working as an usher. <laughs> Lights out! <laughs> Pantomime now! <laughs> then strip searching entire families for Maltesers. It would be horrible. <laughs> Back of the prison, handing out tubs of rum and raisin to the murderers. I mean, it could be awful. It could be awful. Sitting next to you is the lovely Shirley. Hello, Rob. Hello. Somebody is looking mighty fine tonight. <laughs> I think it's the tie actually just lifts my face. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, Little Aston, which is Birmingham. <laughs> We're lucky to have you with us, aren't you? Because you're Thank not you. going to be with us much longer. Whoa, whoa, whoa no. <laughs> she, no, no. She hasn't got anything. <laughs> But you are off. You're, you're travelling. Uh, yeah, going to emigrate to Australia. Emigrating to Australia. Yeah. Oh, it's like that programme on in the morning for the unemployed and students, isn't it? You know, <laughs> starting afresh. <laughs> What's that called, that programme? Wanted Down Under. Yeah. My Uncle Gethin was wanted down under, but that's a different story. <laughs> Still on the run, we don't know where he is. <laughs> So what happened? You went over to Australia, you liked what you saw? No, we never visited. We watched Wanted Down Under. We thought it looked quite nice. So... <laughs> <laughs> you saw it on the television <laughs> and decided to leave your family, your friends. You weren't watching Neighbours, were you? Because you know that's, that's fiction. <laughs> Which part are you going to? Um, Perth. A lot of dangerous things there, be careful. If Ben went, I'd say, go and take a chance, swim. <laughs> I tell you what, if you were swimming and you were just under the water, <laughs> they'd be out of the sea like a shot! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Shirley. <laughs> now then, here's how it works, OK? I'm going to ask you some questions based on life in the UK. Our famous five over here are going to have a guess to try to help you. Now, you don't have to go with what they say. You can go your own way if you wish. And the contestant who does the best will go on for a chance to play for a lovely prize, OK? For you, very simple. Just see what you think the right answer is and write it down, OK? Ben, you're first. OK. Question number one. Here it is. According to a recent survey, what should older people do three times a week <laughs> to help them look younger? <laughs> Tell you what I do. I drink the blood of virgins. <laughs> Works for me. Been doing it since my early 80s. <laughs> Lewis, the thing I didn't know about you, Lewis auditioned for The X Factor. Now, when was this? <laughs> When, when was this, Lewis? It's a myth. It's not a myth, it's a fact. <laughs> what did you sing, Lewis? What did you sing? Well, I tried to sing Shy, if I ever. Oh, well, shy? Let's... What is do that? Do you know? Oh, it goes... Mmm, ba da da dum ba da dum Mmm, ba da da dum The very first time I saw your brown eyes Your lips said hello and I said hi I knew right then you were the one I'd known you were going to be that good, I'd never have asked. <laughs> Oh, James, 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 what do they do? <laughs> what should they do three times a week to keep them looking younger? Um, you, you want my answer? Is that what <laughs> having, having read it, yes, I do. <laughs> James cuts to the chase, and he says... <laughs> Orgasm. <laughs> Don't you think? Don't you think? I do when it's delicate matters, <laughs> but 
I believe in the power of it, Rob, and you know that for a fact. <laughs> Once again, the safe haven <laughs> of Callow Bay. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you are refreshing because you are a man who is ageing with no vanity. <laughs> no vanity, no, no. You are letting nature take its course. <laughs> it, you, you, I mean, how, Amelia, how long after death normally would a body look like this? <laughs> Simon Callow, when asked the question, what should older people do three times a week to help them look younger? He says... <laughs> OK, hang on. To drink it or <laughs> dance it? <laughs> so this is the... Yeah. Do you tango? Yeah. And look. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's a good idea? <laughs> Come and show me. Come and show me how to tango. Come on, Simon. Come on. Get over here. Come on, man. What's the matter with you? This will be good. This will be good. It better be. We haven't given you a fee yet. Come on. Come on. Oh, careful, careful. OK. Now then, what's the, what's the basics? I have no idea. I, I said, I clearly said, what should they do? He, that clapped out old thespian, said... I think they should tango, Rob. I said, do you tango? He said, yes. <laughs> you bloody liar. <laughs> can you or can you not tango? <laughs> I can't. Sit down. <laughs> Get back. Sit down. Just to be clear, you can gymnast, yes? <laughs> and tango. And tango. Could you show me? I can show you a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, My do. God, what happened to your trousers? <laughs> <laughs> Were you attacked on the way here? <laughs> what, what do we do? Uh, can I ask, who, who am I? You... Don't say Anton Dubeck. Yes! <laughs> you can be Flavio. Oh. Flav it. So am I the woman? Yeah. All right. So get nice and close. All right. <laughs> right, right close. Yeah, right, right close. High close. <laughs> that, that's fine. All right. Right, now take this leg. What? <laughs> take this leg. <laughs> no, no. What? <laughs> so, so your right foot. Yes. Put behind you. All right. That's it. And then step through with the other foot. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. And then step forward with the same foot. Yeah. And then back again. Yeah. And then a head flick. What's, what's the rhythm? Because uh, the rhythm is going to get you. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. OK. One, two, three, four. Dun, 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 no, dun, I went wrong. I went wrong. No, 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 no. no. Do not patronise. <laughs> I'm going to get this. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> right, you ready? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. Good man. Lewis Smith! <laughs> do you have any lies you want to spin, Jennifer? <laughs> what should older people do three times a week to help them look younger? Jennifer says, have a strong face peel. Oh, don't wear and specs. don't wear specs. <laughs> it's like Silence of the Lambs. I mean, what do you mean? I thought, have a strong face peel. You know, if you're serious about it, spread a light chemical on your face and your skin comes off. <laughs> so I'm told. I had no idea. All right. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. Let's take a look. Lewis says... Power war. That's good, because the oldies... You know, Simon, the oldies, <laughs> they can't go jogging, so it's just getting the heart going, yeah. isn't it? And, hey, Amelia Fox, she says... Exercise. I haven't specified what kind of exercise. Is it more in line with Mr. Corden? <laughs> <laughs> I'm James Corden. Welcome to my five minute orgasm workout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at all those answers together now then. There they are. There's your guest list. Now, <laughs> what a collection. <laughs> Tempted by any of those? Um, I'm going to go with Amelia and say exercise. Personally, I think that's the most likely. <laughs> All right, here we go. What should older people do to look younger? The actual answer is... <laughs> I O 
owe you... I owe you a huge apology. Don't let it be said, I don't know what the older generation needs. <laughs> James Corden. Keeping older ladies happy for... <laughs> Particularly that one. Yeah. Yes, having sex. According to the survey, regular sex also helps keep you fit, lifts your mood, reduces your stress and prolongs your life. Although it can alarm some of the other shoppers in Rachel's. <laughs> Wrong, I'm afraid. No points awarded. Shirley, your chance to get a point. Here we go. Your question. According to a recent survey, I think re it needs to be up longer than that, I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, I'm fast. <laughs> do, you s do they save money if it's only up for a while? <laughs> OK, Shirley, let's take a look at your question. According to a recent survey, what are people most likely to lie about on dating websites? <laughs> I'd be very uncomfortable on a dating website. Our computer is in the living room. <laughs> right. Lewis, internet dating, ever done it? No, ish. What, you have? <laughs> Sometimes I get bored, you know. Yeah, hang on a minute, think before you speak. <laughs> Yeah, we're not talking Feel about the sex chat. <laughs> that, that's something else, isn't it, no. James? That's something else. <laughs> All right, Amelia. We're coming back to look at that in a minute. Somebody told me you have a tattoo. I do have a tattoo. Where's your tattoo? Where is it? That's barely a tattoo. Show it to. Let's what show do you it. Mean show barely it to people. A tattoo. Well, I think it's we'll show the people. Tattoo. Show your finger. <laughs> Jenna, turn a small around. Tattoo. <laughs> You will not disrupt the class. <laughs> I've got a tattoo. Talk to the Shakespeare... You've got one. Yeah. Have you? All right, I'll come and have a look at yours in a minute. <laughs> Let's see yours first, Amelia. Hold, hold it up. Well, yeah, th 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 that way. <laughs> there we are. Look at that. It's a little heart. Can you see that? Are we getting it? There. Oh. Look at that. Now, why... Why is it not... Why is it not finished? Was it painful? It was so painful that I said, get <laughs> off me, and I don't want that filled So you in. stopped because of the pain. I have a similar thing. On my, on my chest, I was going to have mother put on there, and the pain was so awful, I got moth. <laughs> the internet, James. Yes. Ever turn to the internet for comfort? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to mention... <laughs> Uh, I think you know. Um, <laughs> what have you got, James? Let's start looking at some of these answers. The question is, according to a recent survey, what are people most likely to lie about on a dating website? James Corden says... Size. Size. Mm. Now... <laughs> when you say size... Yeah. <laughs> I think if I hadn't settled down with Mrs. Corden, I'd probably say, oh, you know, I'm stocky. <laughs> you, know? you look now like a slovenly Gary Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Barlow after Christmas. <laughs> after a really good Christmas. Yeah. 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 All right, so size. Simon Callow says, size. Size as well. Now, Jennifer, Jenny, 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 yes. on the other hand, Jenny, Jen, mm. you are a surprising petrol head, aren't you? Yeah. Me, I prefer white wine. But you... <laughs> on, tell us how you did no. on Top Gear. Well, I was faster than you. That's what I remember. So you, went, you overtook me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> now, you went very fast. Was that your driving yes. skills, or were you just desperate to get away from Jeremy Clark's? <laughs> So, websites, yes. internet dating, the acronyms. Never done it. You've never done, done it. Well, I've never, never done, done it. it. Of course, you and I. We're too old. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say we're too attractive and That's we've no need true. to. We've no need to. <laughs> we've no need to. According to a recent survey, what are people most likely to lie about on a dating website? She says, who they really <laughs> are. Hiding their identity. Well, if you're going on the internet, it's like you think, oh, no one's going to want to go out with me, so you lie about everything. <laughs> All right, and we haven't done Lewis. Oh, Lewis, you really are representing the young, free, anything goes generation. Lewis says. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's 
not sexual panthers. <laughs> What, what do you mean? What, how many they've had? Yeah, probably, yeah. And would they go higher or lower? <laughs> <laughs> Have I done you already? What? Uh, no! No! No, 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 I'm not, that, that's too far. Too far. Uh, let's have a look. Amelia says... Age. Oh, so we... Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's what... Yeah. That's what most people are thinking. Right. Let's put all the answers up together. That's the guest list. Now then, what do you make of those? I like the way Lewis is thinking. <laughs> I think you like a lot about <laughs> Lewis. Personally, I'm thinking occupation. Purely, my husband told me he was a footballer, turns out he's a builder. Did he honestly tell you that? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> No idea what she's on. <laughs> it's going to be a long uh, night. <laughs> Shirley, uh, Shirley. You're saying occupation? Occupation. <laughs> what are people most likely to lie about on dating websites? The answer is... <gasps> Shirley, you're correct. One point to you. Well done. Ben, here's your question. According to a recent survey, what did 98% of Brits say men do better than women? Right? Personally, I don't think we do anything better than women. I have to say that <laughs> in case Mrs Bryden is looking in. <laughs> she won't be. She'll be watching the cage fighting on the sports channel. But, uh... <laughs> Lewis. Lewis Smith. Men's gymnastics better than women's gymnastics, would you say? That's what it looks like when a man is put on the spot. <laughs> I'd say we definitely push the boundaries of the sport a lot more, but I think... That's a yes, I think, isn't it? <laughs> We've got there. Is everybody finished? Excellent. Let's take a look at what Lewis has said. According to a recent survey, 90% of Brits say men do what better than women? Lewis says... Driving. <laughs> and a very helpful picture of a car there. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> for any audience members who just driving wasn't going to be enough for them. <laughs> My car smells of Bryden, Amelia. Does yours smell of fox? <laughs> <laughs> if so, check under the wheel arches. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for the diagram. Right. Um, Amelia, Amelia says directions. Yes, I think that's that 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 is an interesting oh. one. Oh, Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's thank you. So long ago. Yeah. I've not seen you much on the telly. What have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Goodness, but you've become a father. I have, yes. He's the father of a lovely young boy. Yeah. Did you get an award for that as well? <laughs> <laughs> How many awards can one man win? <laughs> I've won nothing since Gavin and Stacey. Nothing. <laughs> really? Yeah, stop cackling, Jennifer, please. <laughs> It's not appealing to be cackling like a witch with your back turned to me. <laughs> You've won a Tony on Broadway. He has. <laughs> and I know a Tony on Ealing Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James. What do men do better than women? You said... Flying. Flying? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on a plane. And, you know, when the pilot comes on at the start and says, good evening, I'm going to take this up at 90,000 feet and then we're going to take a left at Chicago and things like that, I've never heard a woman doing that on a plane I've been on. Do you know what? Neither of us. Has anybody ever had a woman pilot? A female pilot? Yes. Yeah, none of them. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to say flying. <laughs> now, here we come to proper actor. And I don't mean that. <laughs> I know. I know. There's no disrespect in that, but honestly, <laughs> having someone like you on this yeah. show is going to do us the power of good. <laughs> he's good, yeah. but he's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Just say something to me, Simon. Say anything. I don't care what it is. Good evening, Rob. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then listen, listen to this. Come on, you do the same. Evening, Rob. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but, I mean, look, it's this ridiculously high voice. Hello, <laughs> Rob, how are you doing? I mean, how you've got, as far as you have, is a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you here. <laughs> Simon Callow. Dickens, Shakespeare, you make the past come alive. Right, it's like you. watching Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what you got. Simon thinks it's... Drive. Too lazy to do the eye engine. Yeah? <laughs> Driving, right. <laughs> yeah, look at this. They don't make it easy, do they? <laughs> that, that, St that Stallone film, Cliffhanger. <laughs> you like it today? Oh, well, there you go. You like it today? There you go. All right. Let's have a look at Jennifer's answer. Driving. So there is a groundswell of opinion <laughs> for driving. But I will say a lot of them are not the brightest buttons in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at all the answers. There's your guest list. Now, you don't have to go with any of those if you don't want to. What do you think? I'm going to agree with Lewis, Jennifer and Simon and driving. Driving. OK, good luck. Hope you get it right. What did 98% of Brits say men do better than women? The answer is... Oh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Unbelievable. Jennifer, I am so sorry. <laughs> that, I mean, that's ludicrous, Who isn't are it? are those men? Well, you and Dawn are the other 2%, aren't OK. You? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Goodness me, are you wrong there? I'm sorry, Ben. No, no points for that. That's a shocker. It it's a shocker. shocker. All right, Shirley, you're next. It's a celebrity question. OK, so for this one, I'm going to ask one of our celebrities to ask a question about themselves. Simon, there's an envelope. Yes. It's your winter fuel allowance. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what does it say? I am a successful actor. Oh, stop banging on about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but what do I never do? Well, that's what it genuinely says. Yes, that oh, is. Oh, sorry, I thought you were just having a me moment. <laughs> all right. He's a successful actor. <laughs> what does he never do? So, all right, I'm guessing now this is going to be something you would expect an actor to do. OK? Have a little think. <clears throat> Jennifer Saunders, tell me about... I read this. Hypnotherapy. Oh. You are going to try hypnotherapy, am I right? Yes. And what is it for? Not for what you would think. Putting things off, not doing things on time. Procrastinating, yes. Yes. Meaning to do stuff. I do mean to go and do it, and I will do it. <laughs> and this is in particular for the movie, isn't it? For, for writing, yeah. Yeah, because you I, are I going just to put do... it off. Absolutely fabulous, the movie. Oh. Absolutely fabulous, the movie. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can I just say, if it happens yes. and it comes to casting... No. <laughs> Sorry. Let me help you. OK. With the hypnotherapy. Simon, <laughs> would you be kind enough to get up and just push off? <laughs> you, you, go, you come and sit here. Pop yourself there. What are you going to do? There we are. There we are. I'm going to sit with you. Yeah. So, hypnotherapy mm. to help you with procrastination. Mm -hmm. Just hear the words. Mm. Close your eyes, Jennifer. Trust me. <clears throat> Tight. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Trust Jennifer, trust Jennifer, okay, the yes. basis okay. of any successful yeah. hypnotherapy <laughs> is trust between the therapist mm. Mm. and the lunatic. <laughs> and I want you, Jennifer, mm. I want you to hear the sound of water <laughs> gently trickling down. <laughs> it's not Simon, don't worry. <laughs> gently trickling water. <laughs> I'm going to place, ever so gently, a suggestion. Get on with it, girl! <laughs> oh, sorry, one last thing. You're under again. Okay. Cast Rob Bryden. Thank you. <laughs> Simon, back you go. Now then, Simon Callow is a very successful actor. <laughs> but there's one thing that he never does. James Corden says... Well, I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Saunders, when asked, what does Simon Callow never do? Jennifer says, learns his lines. He, he probably does. I just thought he's probably successful, but he's 
He absorbs his lines. He doesn't have to learn them. It's a tricky question, actually, Shirley. <laughs> now, Lewis says that Simon never smooches on camera. <laughs> All right, OK. Hmm. Amelia Fox, she says... Love scenes. I was going to put nudity, so, but mm. I have actually seen Simon naked I on film. I think I've seen Simon naked on <laughs> film I have, as well. I have, and I remember that, so I... Running around a lake it. as I exactly. do... That. That's, that's, <laughs> Jumping I, in. It's seared on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the number of therapists I've got to. <laughs> right, all those answers are locked in, so, Simon, could you write the right answer in there, please? That's the guest list. Now, Shirley, what does Simon Carroll never do? You don't have to go with any of those. You can go your own way. Yeah, like Amelia, I was thinking nudity. Mm. Um, oh. So I'm going to go with love scenes. You're going to say love scenes. What does Simon Callow never do? The actual answer is... <laughs> never watches television. <laughs> Haven't got one, Rob. Do you have any idea who we are? <laughs> Have you seen anything I've done? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> All right, Shirley, I'm so sorry. You were wrong. No points awarded. All right. We've got to the point in the show, though, where we uh, find out who is going to play for the prize. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it's <laughs> one nil to Shirley. <laughs> oh, no. We've got to say goodbye to you. Yeah. Sorry, Ben. Thank you for coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, we say goodbye to Ben, but well done, Shirley. <laughs>this is what the final feels like breathe it in Shirley <laughs> you are one question away from winning your prize okay now for the final question the answer is a number you can hear the panel's guesses just like before but it's a number and before we play I'm gonna dangle this prize under your nose <laughs> as you go into Australia we want you to get a little bit of that Perth lifestyle in advance so we are sending you on an all-expenses-paid trip to Perth in Perthshire, Scotland. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> There's only one question standing in your way. Let's take a look at it. In a recent survey, what percentage of men said they would prefer their partner to wear makeup at all times? All right, have a little think about that now. What percentage of men, they want the makeup at all times? I like Mrs. Bryden to look her best at all times, I do. When I get home, I take my contact lenses out. <laughs> <laughs> James, what's your, what's your grooming routine like? You, you have a, a sheen to you, which I love. <laughs> really? Yeah, what do you do, big man? Do you wash? <laughs> I wash, but I don't do any... Moisturising or... You, you uh, never moisturise? No. Because I think it's all a trick. Really? So, yeah, like lip balm. Once you start using lip balm... You get hooked. Yeah. It's one step away from heroin. It yeah. really is. <laughs> Simon, obviously, you're pretty slapdash. You don't really care, do you? I mean, <laughs> you get up in the morning, with you a bit of sandpaper, <laughs> off you go. <laughs> you're ready to go. All right, everybody, let's see what our celebrities think. What percentage of men say they'd prefer their partner to wear makeup at all times? Lewis says 18%. Amelia says 18%. James says 10%. Oh. Simon says, what a curious percentage. <laughs> That's as though you've gone and done some research on it. Because <laughs> I've come back and I found it's 27%. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Stephen Fry. It is Stephen Fry, I know. I know. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Like a TV show, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jennifer says 30... Ooh, interesting. Jennifer's gone yeah. higher. So it goes from 18% to 36%. Now then, to make it easier for you, Shirley, okay. I'm just going to give you two possibilities. I'm going to give you the right answer and a wrong answer. You've got a 50-50 chance, either or. Let's take a look at the two of them. It's either 23% or 73%. None of them have gone higher than 36, and yet the highest we're offering is 73. It's either 23 or 73, but think carefully. So one's the real answer. 
It's very I'm... difficult, isn't it, to understand? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's cunningly <laughs> deceptive. <laughs> <laughs> it's either or, love. <laughs> God, if you were ever on the Krypton factory, you'd have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> one is right, one is wrong. <laughs> Can you just go through it again now? One of these answers... <laughs> one is right, one is wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure I want you to win anymore, I'll be very honest. <laughs> I thought it was a low answer, obviously, because men prefer you the natural. They prefer the natural. Mm. But... But 73% must be the answer. 73% of men? <laughs> Why? Why do you think that? I don't know. I, I might have understood it wrong, but... <laughs> I, think there's, I think there's a fairly good chance you've understood it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it must be the 23 must be theirs, and the 73 must be the right answer. Yeah, that's not how it works, like <laughs> that. <laughs> All the... <laughs> all they are doing is guessing, all right? <laughs> Did we you leave are. school early? <laughs> now, look, they've had a guess, OK? <laughs> but what I've done is I've made it easier for you. <laughs> I've ignored what they've done, OK? <laughs> and I've given you two. One of them is right. <laughs> are you listening to me? One of them is right. <laughs> and one of them is wrong. <laughs> And I want you to win. <laughs> Are you saying 73? I think you should. Are you saying 73? <laughs> How clear can I make it? <laughs> what part of fixing the show and going against <laughs> BBC ethical guidelines do you not understand? <laughs> and nobody can tweet about this. <laughs> Now, Shirley, <laughs> what are you going to go for? Is it 73%? You're going for... No, but don't say it like that, like you're taking the piss. <laughs> OK. <laughs> you can lead a horse to water. <laughs> I look like a horse, I'm not saying that. Um, <laughs> what are you going to go for? 73%. 73%. The actual answer is... Yay! <laughs> She doesn't deserve it. That's all for tonight. Well done to Shirley. Thanks to all our panel of stars. Lewis Smith. <laughs> Amelia Fox. James Corden. Simon Callow. And Jennifer Saunders. Thank you for watching. Good night. James Corden joins Bruce Forsyth and Tracy Emin as guests on the Michael McIntyre chat show Monday night on BBC One at 10.35. While starting soon on BBC Three, continuing the funny business, it's Russell Howard's Good News Extra.